Hello, everybody. Good morning. Hi. Uh, first of all, you you now attending a session about generation gap. When you're hearing the name generation gap, what is the first thing that comes in your mind? Can what? anyone join us to answer this question? <laughs> what? Yeah, people and all people. Yeah. Okay. What? Boomer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm Donia Domioti from Egypt, currently communication officer of Egypt Wikimedia User Group. And uh, I'm volunteering for one year as Leadership Development Working Group member. Uh, and we have also our friend Ali from Iraq. Um, hello, everyone. It's Ali from Iraq. And uh, I'm, I'm general coordinator of the Iraqi Wikimedians. And so happy to have you all here to discuss this topic. So thank you for coming here. Uh, our topic today, as you know, about the generation gap, but in Wikimedia movement and how this gap, if we called it gap, can affect our work as volunteers. Uh, next slide, please. The generation gap by its formal definition is a gap between ages, as you said, uh, uh, related to their beliefs, their work, their demographics, and many differences between ages. And according to this, the generations are subcategorized into many generations, maybe Z, Z generation, Y, alpha, there are different ones. But when we discuss the generation gap in the Wikimedia movement, we subcategorize it about um, related to the ages between the volunteers. Um, and accordingly, we created a simple survey uh, and shared it with uh, a movement in two languages, English and Arabic one. Um, as you see us, me and Ali from the younger generation or from the yes one, as our friend said here, we are in the yes age. But we want to have a big view from the older ones as well, because um, we might uh, experience it some um, issues related to uh, discussions between different ages. Um, you may uh, say something or do something uh, um, maybe normal or familiar between our age, but maybe misunderstand, uh, be misunderstood by an another ages or older ones. So we created the survey. Uh, next slide, please. We created the survey and uh, shared it with uh, on Telegram groups with other Wikimedians. 28 persons uh, uh, join, um, um, felt the survey. Uh, so it's a simple one, but uh, it's to like uh, open this topic. And then we can improve this more and more. We can have ideas from you in the session. And uh, we will ask you also to fill the survey at the end of, of the session to uh, have more opinions, uh, to have a, like a big project or a big uh, report at the last to be shared with the community. So um, it's a primary project to know if there is a generation gap already exists in our movement or not. Okay, so we will start to explain the results of the survey uh, with Ali. Um, so, uh when we share it with the groups, uh, 28 people have participated in this uh, survey. Um, but as Donia said, we are still working on this uh, survey. We want to collect more ideas and more responses from the whole community so we can uh, build uh, better ideas about what is going on within Wikimedia Foundation or within the movement and between volunteers. So we will just uh, show you the results that we have got so far. Um, now we, you you can see here um, uh, the the division between generations. First of all, we divided the generations into two parts. First of all, the the age uh, the um, the like the age division and the um, Wikimedian age division. So we have two uh, two parts of ages within Wikimedia Foundation and the, your actual. Uh, um, uh, years of old. 
So we can see uh, a lot of, uh, like half of this, uh, uh, half the, of the responses and uh, half of the responses are mostly from the younger generation. We have almost 50% here uh, from younger generations and also this uh, for Wikimedia age. Uh, so also here we have uh, less than five years contributors have participated in this uh, survey. Also, we ask a question from one to five. How much do you think, uh, how much do you believe that shading lights on, in, uh, on generation gap issue will limit problems arise from? So also, I want to ask this for you. Uh, from one to five, how much do you think this will shade uh, into this issue of generation gap? If you vote uh, more than three, you can raise your hand. If you think this uh, shading light on this issue could could find a solution for uh, generation conflicts that happening within the movement. So if you vote more than three, can you raise your hand? The question, okay, it's not clear. You can see the question actually here. So f from one to five, how much do you think that shading light into this issue of generation gap within the movement will, will, uh, will help to solve the problems of uh, like the problems that happens between generations and uh, within the Wikimedia movement and within the, the volunteering uh, community. So five. is it clear? Yeah, five is strongly agree, and one, you don't agree with that. Five, you are strongly agree that shedding light in this problem will solve it, and one, you, uh, you, you don't agree that there is a, blob, a problem, uh, um, no, no problem, uh, um, no problem at all, you know? Five to one. Yeah. Okay. Also, we will get more responses from you at the end from the survey so you can understand the whole survey in a better way. Uh, so, yes, Dunia, you can continue. Yeah. Another question we asked in the survey was about the index of uh, the, the differences between ages in the Wikimedia movement as a whole. And to make it sim uh, uh, simplified as possible, because, you know, um, uh, many volunteers don't have time to fill a survey of 30 minutes, but they can fill it if it's just 10 minutes. So we had some um, choices to help them to choose easier. Uh, and the... Um, uh, from the highest one, the highest chosen one, to the least one, was um, many of them said that uh, these differences between ages raise uh, make many volunteers to drop out, and this is a problem from mentorship uh, programs. You know, we will shed light on that uh, in the next slide. But the first, uh, the first thing they they told us that many volunteers drop out uh, uh, um, because of this uh, difference of ages. The second one was misunderstanding, which I uh, experienced this myself. Uh, many misunderstanding happened in discussions, especially the written ones on uh, wiki uh, pages, more than the, uh, the verbal ones. And the third option uh, they agree with was raise this, this gap may raise many conflicts. They also added another options which were uh, that these differences reduce attractiveness of young people because when, um, when we do uh, workshops, but the seniors or the presenters are from the older age and the attendees from the younger age, they felt like this place is not, uh, they are not belong to this place and they must be uh, like uh, older to, to join. So this is another uh, uh, suggestion or another issue. Uh, one of the uh, people filled the form um, uh, raised as well. Another one, the power dynamics. And what they mean by it is that older ages like to feel that they are leaders. And this uh, may uh, not help the younger one to feel that they are uh, belonging to this place and they are, have uh, responsibilities and so on. Last one, which is very important as well, is that this age lead to longer discussions than necessary. Because uh, I know that we have uh, many, like we not have similar free times uh, in our life. So uh, people who have 
uh, much free time may have uh, more time to uh, for discussions than the younger one who already study and work and so on. This was the results of the survey. And another question was about the significant uh, effect through the, the work, the voluntary work itself. Uh, these options were uh, like um, scoring ones. We, we added all these options. And the, the, the highest one was accept constructive criticism. So people, um, people find that uh, acceptance of constructive criticism is not um, is not the same between ages. Uh, this may be related to the power dynamics we already explained because older one may not have the culture to be criticized and um, the culture to be uh, like uh, to have uh, more instruction from the younger ones. And the least one was ways of volunteering. Uh, because as um, voluntary work in the movement and this large, uh, like um, we have a large movement, you might want to uh, uh, volunteer by editing, another one by uh, uploading photos, another third one by adding um, editing data and wiki data. So ways of volunteering uh, are different and we are interested in uh, different ones. So it's not affected by differences of ages, by, but it's affected by types of personalities and our interest. Um, this is for this question. And the second one will be with Ali. Um, uh, for this one, we, we asked for strategies that, uh, that uh, volunteers think that could, be, uh, could, bring, uh, could bring, uh, bridge between uh, gap uh, between generations. So we had some responses. It was a qualitative uh, question. So the, the, the highest one was encourage setting up mentorship programs between the different generations. So this is important so we can, uh, for, for each generation, can understand how to deal with the other generations, uh, either uh, older generation or young generations. Um, also, the second one was uh, knowledge campaigns and workshops to increase the awareness about the, this issue. And this is what actually we are doing here. Uh, we want uh, to, to, uh, to put a light for this uh, topic and to know more from the audience uh, and uh, explore more uh, experiences from others and, uh, and how uh, they, they faced uh, maybe generation gap uh, within the uh, movement. And also you can see uh, setting mentorship, uh, uh, encourage setting up mentorship programs among the same generation. So we have a different question here. Mentorship for different generations and mentorship for the same generation. Uh, the both is important because the first one it's focused on uh, how to to um, uh, how to, to learn how to deal with other generations, and the second one is for the same generation where each one can uh, can explore uh, the experiences of other from the same generation and how they deal with uh, all the experiences they faced uh, within the community. And also we have two options that, uh, that has a less uh, uh, voting for. Uh, assign more responsibilities for youth. So this is so important because we see m maybe sometimes the older generations uh, don't give a, a space for young, young generations to uh, participate uh, in uh, a lot of uh, activities. And also policy of pairing different people together in user group chapters project. This is also important to put policies on how to deal with between each generations. Also recommendations for Wikimedia movement volunteers to bridge uh, the generation gap. So here's some of the uh, recommendations that we collect. So design motivational tools for uh, the perspective of younger generations. We know uh, at this time, uh, a lot of people from the newer generation is joining the movement. So this is important to use the tools that younger generation is using. So this is important so we can keep the uh, younger generation uh, generations uh, contributing within the movement. Uh, more young people should be give some priority uh, within the movement. So uh, the both, I think the both answers is uh, uh, it's close to each other because it's uh, encouraging to give responsibilities more to a younger generation. And here there is uh, something really interesting. There, is, there are a lot of older members who are not so excited to give up their power and this is where the conflict comes in. 
So this is a big issue that uh, I was also listening uh, within the uh, group meeting of the youth of the, uh, this conference. So some, uh, also some of the uh, colleagues share this idea that is a lot of people from the older generations, they don't want to give up their power and they don't give a space for younger gener generations to uh, lead the activities and so on. Also building a sense of belonging and involving them in decision making. This is so important for uh, the different generations. So whenever we have a decision making thing, we have to involve everyone from different gen generations so we can see the, the different perspectives uh, from each generation. Recruit more young people and integrate them with the veterans. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I didn't know what this uh, uh, this word means, but I asked a colleague, and he said it's it's close to dinosaurs. But this is uh, not a good word to use here. Um, yes, this is uh, all for our survey, and uh, um, we want also to learn more from you because we are still working on the survey. We want, we want more ideas on how to develop the survey, what questions that we can add, and if you have some ideas you can share with us. Yeah. Yes, please. Oh, sorry. It's OK. It's OK. I get OK. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, oh, is it working? Uh, OK, uh, I'm Grzegorz from Wikimedia Poland. Uh, uh, we have the same intuition, uh, the same impression that comes from your research when it comes to uh, young people coming into the project. But uh, I think. Uh, the, 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 the good thing what you do is uh, we will finally have a structured uh, research on this topic. But uh, what I'm worried about is that I guess there was no distinction between old generation and old users. I mean, you could start editing at the age of 14, now you're 24, and uh, are you old <laughs> or are you still young? And uh, how people are filling the forms in this survey knew that they were, for example, trash talked by someone who's 60 years old, not 30 or 25 years old. Did they have uh, data on it? Uh, probably not, because you don't know the, the user that trash talked you uh, online. You don't know how old he is, right? Uh, th that's why we have this question, so we can Id identify if the 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 um, the Wikimedian age it, it is the same as the uh, the actual age of the person. So that's why also we want more responses, so we can Id identify this thing uh, accurately by using this question. Uh, we ask them if uh, what is their Wikimedian age and what is their actual age. So from the responses, then we can uh, identify um, if the older generation as a Wikimedian is affecting that much or uh, the older generation as an actual age is affecting this issue. Okay, but uh, to answer the question. Yeah. If you answer the questions, uh, you say, uh, I don't like to be here because someone older than me trusted me. Uh, but the person who says that, actually doesn't know how old is the uh, the person on the other yeah, side. You, you, know, you mean the person that he have maybe misunderstanding with him, you know? You, you mean that? Yeah. yeah. Um, personally, uh, many of the uh, people that I work with in uh, Wiki already know their ages. Um, maybe not at um, my start, but within years, you know, the ages of people. And if you will mention this uh, in the survey, you have to be sure about that because all questions are uh, optional. So if you are not, um, not you're sure not about sure about it. this question, you you just skip it, you know. But um, yeah, um, your 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 issue is very important, but uh, but we don't have how we can solve this. So we just put the question as an optional one. So if you want what age of the person that you conflict with or uh, or maybe have misunderstanding with, you can add and and add your your voice and your ideas. If not, you just skip it. You know. 
Um, I'm not sure if this answered your question, but we are still, yeah, we're still improving the survey, as we said, and we want to have more ideas how to improve it, not, not to be just a survey, but to be a, a, um, a whole report. So um, just give us ideas uh, and we will be happy to, to edit and improve. Okay. Uh, yes, go on. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but earlier I, I thought I, I heard him say that uh, only 28 people had participated. I, I was right on that? Okay. Um, I was just wondering, that, that seems like quite a small sample size to me, and I was just wondering why you, you wanted to like draw conclusions from that. Like, Do you think that maybe that it's possible you don't have enough data to actually know if this is actually an issue? Yeah. The idea came to us... Uh, months previous to Wikimania and we want to like elaborate this idea with this symbol for and this symbol symbol and then we will improve that with more um, uh, with more uh, like um, more symbol and more people uh, but when we attend the yes uh, meetup here we found that many ideas are already in, in, in the minds of our generation or our uh, age zones as well. Um, so um, it will be shared more in many groups and many uh, like uh, a mailing list. And by the way, you may find that in the chart asking about the uh, Wikimedian age, you can find that the younger, um, the, yeah, the younger yeah, sector might... here Sorry. from, yeah, from two to five years, which is, uh, makes sense because this age are, uh, in my opinion, are the um, most one that are active on social media where we publish about the survey. Yeah, go on. You, yeah, you have, my, my yeah. question was more like if you're only asking 28 people, uh, it might not necessarily be reflective of like the whole movement because like, yeah, uh, like, yeah. Yeah, this is a small sample. I agree with that. Yeah, but like uh, that's why we like, have uh, the uh, QR code so we can build more ideas about uh, and take more responses from the bigger people, yeah, bigger group of people uh, within the movement. Okay. Okay. Um, Martin? Yeah, uh, Berlin tour guide. <laughs> True. Uh, hi, Martin. I also work for, uh, with Wikimedia Deutschland. We also conducted a community survey um, using. Uh, central notice banners, for example. On German Wikipedia, we reached more than 1,000 people who conducted this survey. Um, there are also experiences at the Wikimedia Foundation who helped us with this survey, uh, namely Tanja Andich, who is conducting the Community Insights Survey um, at the Wikimedia Foundation, where they are also asking questions about age and uh, experience and such. So might might make sense to talk to Tanja, a very kind, very nice person, uh, who will definitely help you on adding your uh, additional question and reaching out oh, to the community you're looking for. Just, just yeah. Thank That's you so much, thank Martin. You. Yeah. Uh, I think you have a question. Right. Hi, Matej. Um, it feels to me that you're kind of forgetting about the middle age. <laughs> Um, you know, like, like the young and the old, but what about us middle-aged people, right? <laughs> like, and also, it's kind of interesting what you said, that the young people don't have time and the older people do. I feel like when I was, you know, 10 years ago, um, you know, kind of a single guy out of school, I had a bunch of time. Nice. Now, with a kid, I don't, you know? So I feel like this middle age is where people lose their time, and then after retirement, maybe they will... I'm not there yet, luckily. But after this time, they will regain the, the, the time. And in your thing, you didn't have any people under 18 and over 54, mm -hmm. right? I don't know if that's the Maybe. small uh, small sample sa uh, size or not, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like, well, life doesn't end at 54, right? So there's yeah. a bunch of you know years after that where people can um, edit and probably have even more time. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I was kind of thinking is that I feel like the difference isn't so much, or the conflict isn't so much between young and old, but more between kind of the, let's say, conservative versus liberal, or or, or these other types of conflicts, mm -hmm. rather than the age. Because as my Polish colleague pointed out, we really often don't know the age of the other people, but we do know what their stance is on 
different issues, like whether to do this that way or this that way. So that's just my thoughts here. Thank you. Yeah, for ages, we may add um, more age zones. And um, um, I think we have all, uh, we covered all the ages, but uh, the, we didn't get responses from the, like, let's say, from the less than 18 and more than 65, for example. So it is already there in the survey, but the responses we have only for the ages that you see here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think one issue is uh, where the communication takes place, like you asked on social media or uh, Telegram. Telegram. So uh, you obviously didn't have one, one part of the very older people or uh, you had uh, more users that were not active for such a long time. So I think this is also an issue that users that, that are working for Wikipedia for a longer time are, are using the official con communication mm -hmm. uh, platforms, which might look old and outdated for for younger, um, yeah. shortly active people, and the others are more active on, on uh, social media or Telegram, which is uh, has the problem that it's not an open and free platform. So I think that uh, there, this is also an issue. Yeah, uh, we may use uh, Martin's suggestions for reaching out uh, more communities and asking help of the movement as well. Yeah. Actually, most of the responses was from the Middle East region, which is our region. So we need more regions from all over the movement. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Last question, and because we ran out of time. Oh, yeah. So thank you for bringing Mike. I just once gave up the asking the question <laughs> because end of time. But I want to not give a question, but I just want to actually is maybe question. So what I was building when I was like the doing use. By the way, I'm Young Jim from Wikimedia Korea, project manager right there. So. I know like that they, in the generations, they are using like the different social media platforms or different trends that I being seeing while like, while I like, surveying and the experience, getting experience with them. So it is kind of the average between the social media, different like the social media or tools kind of needed in your countries, probably that's good to know. So, yeah. Um. I didn't get your question. You, you so yeah, it is like have a properties that have a different each generation has like different properties of the using the in the literacy or the social media that did you experience any of that? Um, you mean that each um, like each zones are prefer communication to different. Yes, to? that's correct. Yeah, um, I, I'm I'm. I confirm that we we didn't reach all possibilities of communication because uh, the the short time we had before Wikimania. But um, uh, as I said, we may want to reach out them by other uh, uh, social media rather than Telegram, maybe Wikipages, um, um, uh, Facebook uh, official groups, mailing lists. And you here, like, for example, you can just fill out the, the form and the, it would be so, so much appreciated if you can fill it now. So we can get some more responses for our survey. And for sure, we will share it more and we will engage with other communities to get more responses. Yeah, sorry about that, but we want to finish because we are out of time. Thank you so much for attendance Thank and you. very happy to see you here.